Our students come to Manual Arts with a variety of experiences. Every student on campus has a story to tell, and you just don't get that by only looking at one component, which is their grades and their transcripts. Beyond these gates and fences, a lot of these students understand uh, what a struggle is like. Whether they say it or not, they are very gritty, they are very resilient. Yeah, the GPA would be nice, but if a student didn't eat throughout the entire year, like how, how effective is that GPA when they're not even understanding what's going on in, in the classroom because they're so focused on eating? That's why it's important to them to tell their story. The Raiders Room is ultimately a space where we all write. But beyond that, the Raiders Room is a place where students, volunteers, anyone that sets foot through that door grows, whether it's they're growing their skills, whether they're growing their passion. Ultimately, there's growth that happens in the writer's room. First time I entered the writer's room was sort of an embarrassing story. Uh, I entered with confidence, but I came out in tears because I expressed myself in ways I didn't know how. My mentor for the hour did not judge me when I cried and shared my story to her. And that's how it should be. A person who listens, a person who does not judge. The personal statement in the college process, it allows them an opportunity to tell that story of their perseverance and what they carry with them and what they will carry with them into a college campus. In my essay I focused on my life. I grew up with a single mother. I grew up with five older sisters. I was the only boy, and it was incredibly hard to grow up without a male figure's opinion. And I wanted to dig deeper into that abyss because that's how I became the person who I am today. Going down the path of vulnerability just made me realize how special I am. It made me realize that I didn't need him. I didn't need one specific person to love me when I have so many countless others to, to do it for him. As an educator, I feel that um, to have a space like 826LA on campus is, is a blessing, a true blessing. Just to practice what it's like, so when you read it... The writer's room has allowed the students to have a voice, a voice that they didn't even know they had. Uh, they find out that they have a voice, they find out that people want to hear this voice, and it just, it completely changes them from uh, a timid individual to an excited, energetic, hopeful students. Hi, I'm Valeria Rodriguez. I'm a senior at Manuarts High School and I belong to the writer's room. I've always felt like an afterthought, even within like my own family. And there was like this pivotal moment where I realized that if I wanted to just become what I wanted to be, I had to work for myself instead of others. And I started doing everything possible to, to, to go to college. I didn't realize how afraid I was to step outside my comfort zone until I started to like really think about why I was writing and how I was writing and ask myself like, why am I afraid to talk about this? Or why am I afraid to like take a risk? <laughs> writing is important to me because I look back at my childhood, like my entire life. And I don't know, I've always had this yearning to capture these experiences, my experiences. And I feel passionately that writing like, was the answer. A new writer. If there was um, a single thing that I could take away from this experience in the writer's room, um, it'd be courage. I believe 826LA here on the campus of Manual Arts High School 
has worked really hard to create a space in which students feel comfortable and safe to get their words on paper. A lot of times when different organizations come on campus, they're not usually able to service a lot of students. They may, may service a handful of students, but hundreds of students have come through the writer's room. My goal for every student that comes through the writer's room is to understand the impact of one moment or one person that believes in them. We talk about how stories matter, how writing matters, and like for them, they need to understand that their life matters too. So for them, realizing that their community is important, realizing that their identity is important, is a powerful thing. These kids are beautiful. They have beautiful souls, and they have beautiful stories in them. It's good to see them be able to express that. Last year, 100% of students that had worked in the writer's room, one-on-one -on -one with the tutor, were accepted into four-year colleges, 100%. Students are going to their dream colleges. It's so amazing to see the kid. Their whole attitude about school, not just history or not just writing, but the whole process of what school is, it clicks for them. I don't know anybody else that does this kind of stuff. And to have this only here, I'm almost privileged, but at the same time, why can't we all have this? Each child has a story to tell. We have students within this community who have untold stories. I want to make sure that all students of all age can truly express their untold story because we don't want to kill dreams. We want to make them live.